Warning, Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. Alright, so, last time in TALK! Uh, you guys, Dennis went up to that wedge there in the side. Uh, he stuck a gold in the slot beneath the faintly traced O. It wiggled a bit as if the slot was too wide for it. Uh, Pachinko down. There's a grinding noise. It looked like it uh, was shuddering a bit and then it stopped. Well, if it's Pachinko, no one's bigger than this happened. We might win though. Yeah. It's not impossible. You don't know how. Um, we'll do it. Even if it takes our entire life savings. Yes, I know I have a problem. I think that was the most successfully racist joke that's ever been made at this table. It wasn't racist, that was cultural. You're racist for thinking that. I never denied I was racist. Um, uh, what do we do now, folks? Um... I don't know, you're like putting different coins together to see if we can you're the fit board. the slot, bro. Oh. It's Actually, not like we don't I have pass enough. Out. No, uh, you were the shard mine. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck happened to the shard mine? Right? Oh. Right oh, so it is. There you go. Okay. Just, you. just put, put Latak on a, on a pew somewhere uh, and we'll right. say he passed out. That's him for right there. Yeah! That, that's kind of Austin's character's deal. He likes to sleep on that. That's not epileptic. It's like, huh, well, this dungeon is pretty scary. He, he, he's the Snorlax of, of the six. None of us have a flu. Huh. I like that joke very much. Anyway, um... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it was so funny, you can't find it. Um, I, I'd like to, it. I'd like to expect the area, inspect, not expect. I'd like to inspect the area around the, uh wall that I'm facing. Okay, uh, like how, are, how are you inspecting it and what are you looking for? I expect um, it to open. I guess with my eyes and with my hands, I, this is, this is feeling oh, weird. Yep, yeah, just a pet is not. With your eyes um, and with your hands. And I'm looking for, uh, what's the, what's the one I'm looking for? Inconsistencies in, I guess, the molding? Where it meets the floor, this wall meets the floor. Okay. Um, and the way to do that would generally be to look for uh, air displacement. So I guess I'm going to be feeling for that and looking for if. Um, just pull up your just pull up your pants and see uh, if you you do feel hands. some air coming from uh, beneath it, uh, but it, it's a very stagnant kind of it, it doesn't smell too good. How big is the door? It, it's pretty fucking huge. Is it is it stagnant, or is it uh? What what exactly does it smell like? Mold. Mold, dust, um, rancid semen. Xavier, we're not talking about your memes. There's, there's perhaps a bit of a acrid tang. Maybe just a hint. There's Asher. God damn it! <laughs> um, is there any way I can tell if this wall would slide all the way up into the ceiling if it does go up? Uh, you look at it and you sort of just kind of eyeball where the wedge meets the wall, and uh, you look at where it meets the ceiling and you think, yeah, there's a, a cavity that would slide. Okay. Or wait, does it slide? Does it? Slide? It slides. Yeah. Um, uh, or it needs to so, be searched. Ah, uh, goddammit. So, I'm um, I'm going <laughs> to beckon my uh, compatriots over, and uh, uh, this wedge sinks down to the floor. Do you okay. want to walk over here again? Thank you. What about you, Tom? Uh, I guess. I'm... And then you still have your buddy over there near the big the square wheel. You also still have your kids. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, Tom's a woman now. 
So, um, I'm fairly certain, gentlemen, that there is something living. And ladies. Fair point. Forgive me, I'm still not quite used to your, um... Voluptuous figure. New physique. Well, it happened like five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. It's it's still it's still a bit of a shock to me. Sorry, and, lost. Not the time gets you tall. It's just like... Weird. Stop it. I meant you used to have a man face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> facial hair. Um. Sideburns. <laughs> so, uh, I'm fairly I like certain. the beard, but you're too dumb, though. <laughs> There's something alive behind this door. He comes you know, out with a beard. He didn't have one before. Hmm. You imagine him, man, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'm fairly certain there's something alive behind this door. Um, is it okay? Is it alive or undead? That's totally different. That's a good point. I uh. There's something animate. Okay. That. I mean, I could easily tell, but I don't want to spell spells Yeah. You don't have near me. I don't Fucking have that spell. Yeah, I could detect uh, magic, but that's fine. I now that we still wait. One. One. Can't you ritual cast detect magic? Can you? Uh, check if he has a type. Um, what was right how, how big is it's this? So. How big is it? Like, the, the air can come through, right? Uh, there, there was a kind of a... Well, I guess he'd be feeling more towards the ceiling and the sides. And there, there's the, the faintest hint of a, of a sort of a breeze of air traveling through. Now, I don't know. Well, you want to fart through the doorway? Well, no, I could miss these things. Let's see, won't they get through? I'm on the other side. Is that my friends? Yes. Detect the uh, magic ritual. It takes 10 minutes. So you're going to spend right. 10 minutes to ritual cast detect magic? Should I? Go for it. Okay, yeah, why not? I will ritual cast detect magic. It's not like anyone else is going to come to this temple. If, the, if they do, mind. they'd be too distracted by the sleeping dragon. Um. What's really strange <laughs> is the dragon fell asleep after the gold was gone. You sense the presence of strong anti-magic wards upon this block. Also, uh, there's just a strange feeling, something you haven't quite felt before, almost as if it's almost something of a, a, a dissimilar polarity, as if it hungers for magic. I will relay this information. As it sounds spooky. Who's spooky? That does sound pretty spooky. Well, so, the question is... If we use no magic, we'll just smack it. I'm okay with that. Uh, this thing is, like, huge. Huge, huge. It would take you, like, a week. A month. A year. To break through this thing with your fucking blood. The, uh, the then question is... Your... Yeah, it would take with my help. Two years. <laughs> One day less. It would take 364 days. The well, question is, do we want to see if we can get this thing open, or do we want to just leave it alone? Back. Have we been through everything? Well, we didn't get through the arc. Okay. The When we went through the main hallway, how there was the, the demon head on one side, and then the arc way. Jason. Oh yeah. We didn't go through that. I don't want Plus we didn't go through the two doors in the other hallway. Sure. It was like the very first hallway we came into. Like it, there was the right hallway which was a booby trap. And the middle hallway which we went through. And then there was the left hallway. Oh. With, they had doors like at the end. Of the so, so we take have two ways to go besides this. Wait, this sense, this seems to be the right way, but we've come this far. Sure. Um, but okay. yeah, uh, um, we could always just try and find a combination of coins that will fit the slot. I, I somehow don't think it's coins at all. Is there anything on the altar? It's no. just a big old piece of blue. That's the altar right here. Great big blue asshole, gotcha. Um... So, the only thing you see on this block is the slot and the faintly traced letter O. Right above the slot. How big is the letter O? Not very big. 
about yeah. How big is a gold piece? Um, it's a. Uh... How big is a gold piece? Well, you already know your gold piece fits through the slot. But yeah. You know, it kind of wiggled like it was a little too thin. Um. What we put in? Point. Oh, it's gotta be another thing. Well, yeah, but what if you put two points together? Well, the thing I'm thinking is... Uh, this thing is probably the width, like you're looking at, it's probably the width of several coins. Like, if we were talking in terms of real-world money, it'd be at least, like, four quarters in width. Uh, so it'd be a whole... I'm gonna run my hand over the... I I'd like to inspect the letter O. Okay, it's just kind of faintly traced on the stone block. Wanna put your finger in there? Like, in the letter O or in the uh, slot? Uh, the O is trace, it's not yeah. a... So, I'd like to compare each size of coin. It's... you're looking at all your coins, you're looking at this O, and you just kind of shake your head, you don't think it's got anything to do with coins. No! Um, one important thing to note is that when it did accept the coin, you heard kind of a grinding sound, and you didn't see your coin come out. Well, it's gotta be going somewhere, and it's going somewhere not nice. Unless there's something on the altar. Do we still have anything circular? We have a lot of fucking coin. Yes, you do. What might that be? King Kong's gem. You're getting a holy at. symbol? Why are you getting looked at? I asked about my holy symbol. Not your holy symbol. You have a thing. There's a letter O traces on this line. Clues, clues, clues. How do I break this thing with my hammer? Um, I don't oh, think is, this isn't fair for you because you weren't here when it happened. Yeah. You were. You were. Matter of fact, you were front center. Fuck it! Everybody turn out your pockets! Oh, the ring! You have the ring of protection. Oh. I do. Boom. And was that big? Uh, you, you sort of take the ring off and look at it and Boom. it looks. It looks appropriately sized to the to the slot. I had to give up one AC. I like how you remember it, you remember that, like just as I figured out a good way to do it. Ah. Uh, so we just like You gonna put the ring in the slot? Well, tie a string around it first. I don't think it's gonna come back. Also I don't have string. I've got rope, not string. You could Take the rope and split it. I'd have well, to, I'd have to yeah. is this skeleton or closed? No, I just want to chain mail. Damn. It's rusted, it's kind of shitty chain mail, but it's chain mail. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> he, he's tankier than. So you're gonna put your ring in the Does stuff? the skeleton have boots? The skeleton have boots, yes. Gonna, let's take, take a boot lace. It's a gold boot strap. I, I don't think tying something around it would be able to lit it. Well, not a pull it back. Yeah. The, the ring will fit. Does his boot have laces? Just, just put the ring. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, so I'm, I'm slide the ring in. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't. The okay. adventure specifically says anything put in there is destroyed. So you put the ring in the slot, minus one AC. This horrible grinding noise echoes throughout I'm gonna back the up. chapel, and the stone begins to shudder as it slowly sinks into the ground. I'm gonna back up and prepare a... My AC. Are you guys ready? This is the farthest you've ever gotten in Tomb of Horrors. Everything that lies beyond that block you have no idea about. Yeah, yeah we kind of shat on that illusion a couple sessions I'm gonna, ago. I'm gonna back up and ready Sacred Flame. Okay. So then it comes out. Yeah, I'm going. You see a door! Woo! Quick, use it. Ah! 
I killed your parents. Wait, which one? Damn it. Well, it's not dumb if that's true, actually. Oh, god damn it. Jim Morrison killed his parents. Okay, I gotta... This is gonna take me a little bit of thinking, because I actually drew this way more fucking obtuse than I intended to. Well, I did. Conventional wisdom says I did try a cue, and I couldn't manage it. It wasn't Kawhi enough. I still think there's something up with the altar. What the hell did you die? <laughs> huh? Oh, it's so you, I'm gonna go to hell before I die? Yes. Before I go from hell? You die. Then you go to hell. Like you I'm gonna go to hell, die, get up to the big curly gates, be denied advance, and get shot back down. Like, gee, thanks. Thanks for wasting me to waste my fucking time. Assholes. You, you've been tempted by the demons when you visited hell. <laughs> go back. I can smell their taint on you. See? You see what I said? See what I said? That was right. The corridor widens to ten feet going south. Steep steps lead down, and the corridor turns west. I honestly think it's amazing. I'm sorry, I can't get your best for us. I honestly think it's amazing. I'll get it. I honestly think it's amazing that we can still fucking tell distances in uh, in this godforsaken place. Kyle distances. Door. I'm an idiot. Directions. In Kyle this godforsaken place. Need order. Thank God for dwarves. I, 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 my prospect knowledge is that. It's quite cunning in those areas. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go first down this hallway. It's, it's, it's the longest running DD joke we have. Besides, this is where they poop. I thought sticking your dick and things is the longest joke we have. Nope. Wait, are we fucking running right now? Uh, yeah. Well, you're just kind of sitting. 